first up and ready to go. So, time to get started. Looks like I was right with the whole get 50 kills or assists thing being a rotation challenge of just every single week. Kinda boring, but whatever. It's a staple, so it works for now. At any rate, I'm gonna do the quest for the first part of today. So, let's get a move on. The legend falls, clear out the hostels from a safe distance, then locate the next artifact. Epic weapon charm, story chapter two. All right, fairly straightforward. Let's get this underway. I've got to get knockdowns as Revenant today anyway. So how many shadows am I going to have to kill then? Just to get this done. Can't be Wraith, can't be Caustic, can't be Revenant, can't be Crypto. So, wait now, Bangalore's out, Watson's out, Crypto's out, and Revenant's out. How did I misread that so spectacularly? Well, I get a triple take. Triple take and a P2020. A fully decked triple take as well, jeez. I just saw another sniper taking a shot there, I'm sure. Yes, I did. A piece of eights. The hunt begins. Snipe some of those monsters before heading in. Eliminate hostels. You've got to eliminate four. Okay, fine. Since they're on set paths, all I have to do is basically this, right? Yeah. No, what the hell? Don't deviate from that. You're confusing me. Denied. Huh. Yeah, I'll take these. Anything to help me survive that little bit longer. You know? You're actually alive, huh? Oh, okay. Once again, I've covered over my timer with my stream overlay, so I can't see how long I have left. Joyous day. I'm down. Somebody has to lose. That's just how this works. Okay. Ah, fuck. Recharging my shields. Yeah, it's giving me this, it's giving me it for a reason, yeah. Clearly. that anymore, do I?
Wow. Ooh, a peacekeeper. Uh, I don't know. Worth it? Kinda. Golden Spitfire. You could definitely have to, I'm afraid. Sorry. Has to come with. <sighs> we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Worth it for the ammo, though. Let's go. These little quests are fun, man. Just a shame they don't award you XP for your time, but hey, it's a PvP level, I guess. The quest is just there for extra loot. Okay. The occipital hub. Yeah, it's definitely Revy's brain, I'm sorry, it just is. The detached chaperone. Well, I got those. On to the actual storytelling. Uh, 
Mirage doesn't know how to use a radio. Mirage for Wraith. Mirage. I repeat, this is Mirage for Wraith. Do you coffee, Wraith? <laughs> Today's the day I think to myself. Today's the day I finally snap and kill him. Well, it's dark enough for Wraith's character. I'll give her that. Go for Wraith. Fucking asshole. What you doing? Yep, definitely the day I kill him. I don't blame you. Same thing I was doing five minutes ago when you asked running surveillance for Octane's date. Yeah, we're fighting prowlers. Scary, nasty, rabid prowlers. It's really exciting. Not as exciting as Shaffer running a date, but exciting. I'm turning on the recording device. Don't radio me again. Is your heart racing? Is your adrenaline pumping? I need updates every 60 seconds. Here's an update. It's not going well and you're not helping. Oh no, is it an appetizer crisis? <laughs> Goodbye, Mirage. Did he eat his salad with the wrong fork? Oh my god. Right, can I just... Uh, actually, never mind. I was going to ask a question. I'll explain later. I disconnect the comm, turn my focus back to Octane's date with Yoko. She's the chief of staff for Cheryl Amachi, who heads up Hammond's legal department. Basically, she's the woman who makes it a ham... Makes it easy for Hammond to get away with everything. And we sent in a guy with all the subtlety of a jackhammer. So you said you had a question about one of Cheryl's meetings last week. Cheryl Amachi, right? Yeah, she had some secret meeting with a new chick Loba. I'm supposed to ask you what it was all about. I would head desk if it wasn't going to be too loud for this later on. I'm just going to bash off it now for that. Just really? Dude. Subtlety of a jackhammer? Even a jackhammer is more subtle than that. Note to self, never send Octane undercover again. Oh, I see. So the only reason we're out right now is so you can find out the details about my boss's meetings behind closed doors and totally put my job at risk. Why am I doing this again? Because I can get Lifeline's autograph for you. Okay, at least you're smooth enough to get around that. Why would I care about Lifeline's autograph? Because I can get Bangalore's autograph for you? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Fucking... Really? Are we... Are we... Uh, uh, uh. Oh my... Fucking... Just... Seriously. For real? Bangalore never hangs around for signings after a match. That would be a collector's item for sure. Are the two of you friends or something? She had two peas in a pod while like twins. Yeah, no you're not. She tolerates your existence. Damn, Octane, you make a terrible spy, but you stumble into wins more than anybody else I know. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Well, you didn't hear this from me, but my boss wanted to talk to Loba about what she was after in that warehouse under Skulltown, something called the Source Code. Uh-huh, cool. Apparently this code was teleported out of the bunker by some kind of security system before Loba could grab it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just got total flashbacks. Total fucking flashbacks. To what I believe was originally an error with the blaze blue calamity trigger. And... Um, what was it? Blaze Blue Continuum Shift? The script for the voice actors. Um, it seemed to have it in text, like speech marks, like that, for nodding head, for stage directions. So the voice actors just read it out anyway, and it was fucking hilarious. So now I'm just imagining Octane going like, Awesome! Nodding head! In that weird voice he does, and it just fucking... I, it, it, it broke me for a moment. Oh god. Uh, my boss can get Loba the coordinates where the source code went, but she wants something in return. She wants... Wait, did you just say nodding head? He actually didn't say it then. <laughs> cool. What the hell is that noise? I ripped the headphones off and my ears bleeding. Damn it, where did that feedback come from? Mirage for Wraith, do you copy? Damn it, Mirage, I said not to radio while I was working on... Working with the... What he tells me next stops me dead in my tracks. I waste no time. I open a portal and appear behind Octane, startling Yoko. Change of plans, we gotta go. 
Oh good, I was dying of bot. <laughs> but we're already moving through the void. I relay Mirage's message to him. The words that send a chill down our spines. Watson's down. When we get to Mirage's bar, it's chaos. What happened? He was stationed inside the... Not you, Path. What happened? <sighs> we were scoping out the nest. Watson told us she was going to plant the fences. We didn't realize she went into the building. By the time we got inside, there was nothing to do but be sad. I'm still sad, friend. I see Caustic standing over Watson's bed. I look to Pathfinder confused. Not the guy I expected to hold vigil. He hasn't left her side since we got back. I knew. I knew Caustic cared about Watson. I don't keep many friends. The girl in the bed is in my top three. Caustic acknowledges me with a sad nod of understanding. It's a look I've never seen on his face before. It's almost sympathetic. To everyone else, he and I are outsiders. To Natalie, we're family. Somehow, he got on the bad path. Now how do we get off it? She'll make a full recovery. What matters now is finding the other half of the Gemini. Jesus Christ, Caustic's not holding back on this one. Yeah, don't piss him off. He's like seriously got a daddy daughter complex for Lily Watson. He absolutely adores her because she's got a brilliant mind, which I'm sure we're about to see materialize in the voice bank that'll be added today. Caustic has a pinned against the wall by the throat before I can before I even realize he can move that fast. Holy shit, that's dark even for Caustic. Should Miss Paquette's condition worsen, you will live out your days so unrecognisable, you'll beg me for death. <laughs> she gasps when he drops her, her hand presses to her throat and he storm as he storms out of the room. Is this all worth it, Loba? All these pieces, this artefact, is it worth all this suffering? It's everything. Why? What is it? I already told you, all I know is it's a piece of tech. I'm not talking about the artifact, I'm talking about the source code. What is it? Her eyes go wide when I mention it, I struck a nerve, she opens her mouth and starts to say something, but a different voice answers. My voice. Three words. He's above you. And I know who it is before I even have a chance to look up. Revenant. I have a better question, girlies. When was the, when were you going to tell me there's a whole world out there where I'm worshipped like a god? Fuck's sake. Yeah, this is exactly what Loba feared. And as I reach for my kunai and try to piece together how long he's been up there, I realise I was wrong earlier. This isn't the bad path we're on. We chose the worst path. The liberated Nark. The liberated Nark. For some reason, that makes me think that Watson's the one who grasped. But I know for a fact that's going to be who gets blamed for this. Whoever it is is going to put the blame on Watson because she's essentially in a coma and out of the games. Now. There is something that I noticed last time, when I checked this. The Gemini XG core, responsible for the higher functions in memory, etchings identify as the XG type, of which there are no records. Evidently, one half in a rare Gemini configuration, it would have required a resonant twin core to function. Holds a complex crystal matrix at nanoscale, any compromise of the housing would instantly reduce said matrix to dust. Un the unit is very tough on the outside, and Gosma on the inside. Casing appears intact. And the next part, which is the occipital hub. Physical and logical connection center for the entire assembly. Delivered constant conditioned power to cores. Pass through channel for direct data between the cores and an encryption sub. But no tap for the hub itself. Holds motor super. Uh, sub processing likely interfaced and translated between host structures for locomotion. 
Anyone in doubt this is Revenant's brain? In fact, I'm pretty sure that freaking lower part there is his mouth. Or what is in his mouth. A curious turn for the quest to be sure. I really do have to wonder where this is going to go from here because I'm really digging this. The story this tells is actually really quite engaging. Although it could have potentially made Watson's death a little bit more impactful rather than just like the stereotypical legend bleed out death. I have a feeling that could have had a little bit more work but this is basically the beta for story modes and testing the water for how much people actually care about them. So I'll let that slide for now and hope that in future it can only improve because this shit is gold. And I'm not just saying that because it's the fortune's favour and everything's gold for this season. No, this is actually really, really good. I enjoy the story quite a lot. Really, I do. And I think it's going to probably have to... It's going to have to be a one-upper for every season there is. It's going to have to be a different story and it's going to have to result in different things. Really, to evolve the world of Apex Legends, they could possibly just do a Fortnite and weave the story into the matches that you play but in a way that you play certain legends and achieve certain goals to unlock certain chapters along it and there are different outcomes. Something along those lines. It'd become really convoluted and really weird, but I don't know. It could work to some extent and it has the potential. So far, we're only two weeks into the story and I can't wait to find out what happens at the end.